get into it. Okay, so this fossil satchel was a dream. I loved wearing her, very comfortable. You see she does have these top handles that made carrying her around very simple, very easy, effortless, and I absolutely love top handles. Probably my favorite feature on this purse was those top handles. Um, another feature I want to go ahead and talk about right now is this extended zipper that goes all the way down on both sides. That makes it super easy to get in and out of when you are out and about, when you're in the line, when you're trying to stuff more things in. Having these extended zippers really, really comes in handy. Another amazing feature on this bag. You already know. I loved the leather. I loved the brown leather. I was very, very, very much into the brown leather, very, very much into the blocking, the color blocking, and it's completely black on the back, but I did like the decorative um, styling on the front. That all being said, I didn't feel a need to add a charm or a puff or any chains because I felt like the patchwork blocking leather um, aspect of this bag spoke for itself. So I didn't feel like I needed to do too much else to make her pop. I'll go ahead and extend the zippers all the way down. Okay, so right off the top, we have my candy pouch and I do need to refill it. It does have some leftover candies. We were not big fans of these pepper. Um, they're like a mango pepper candy. We were not big fans. So, yeah. I have recently moved out of my day book and into this day book. So, this is one that's a little cuter. has some moon, crescent moon, and some stars. And it just basically serves the purpose of keeping me organized throughout the course of the day. I treat it like a bullet journal, uh, to-do list, uh, day runner, that sort of thing. But you'll always find something like this in my purse. Also, I have given up the need to carry around a pouch of pens. I am going to focus on just having one or two pens in my purse um, and that will eliminate some of the bulkiness of the bag. So I'm going to have one or two quality pens and that will be good enough for me. And yes, this pen actually came from the Dollar Tree. So I'm not going to be getting those pretty, pretty, pretty Dollar Tree pens. I'm actually going to be getting these um, rollerball type pens and I love the way this particular one works. This is the R2, what is it called? The R2 Rollerball INC from Dollar Tree. And I've, I've enjoyed working with that pen. Next thing here is the lovely matching wallet. And totally enjoyed this wallet. It did everything it needed to do. And definitely when I pulled her out, I did get some compliments because I mean, just look at her, very handsome, you know what I mean? So she pulled in some compliments as did her big sister, the actual satchel. I have my beat up Android phone that I carry everywhere with me. So she's there, put her right there. I did go ahead, um, you may have seen one of the shorts that I did, I went ahead and I went ahead and got a pouch. This is a faux leather pouch. At first it was gonna be a pencil case, but I decided to make it my bag where I carry my um, Florida water, my hand sanitizer, and my Lysol spray. And so I like to say that this bag basically takes care of my funk, energy funk, <laughs> other people funk so basically this is my bag that I have all the sanitizing items in and I really like it fits nicely and it's thin and it just slides right into the bag so she's a keeper I 
I'm finally working through this makeup pouch, you all. So we have a transparent bag here that I have some goodies in. I have this Sephora Trio um, compact and it basically is a blush, highlighter, and some other kind of highlighter, but I really do like the blush and I do like the highlighter. So I'm gonna keep that in here. We have some Fenty powder, keep that in there. We have a um, Sephora Lash Craft Mascara. I have Wet n Wild. I love this thing. This is the multi stick and it is a brown lippy that does various things. And yeah, I like her a lot. I have some Wet n Wild. This is one of my go to's. Um, Wet n Wild in 530D. And it's just like a frosted pink. The actual name is Dark Pink Frost. I have a tiny native deodorant. I'm not the biggest. Why is it time to leave it? It's not time to leave. I'm recording. Okay. Um, so this is a small native deodorant that I'd like to tote around, but I am not the biggest fan of native. So I'm just using that up. Uh, recently, I reinvested in my Ruby Woo by MAC. Um, this is my Fenty lip gloss, and um, she's a go-to, and you see the packaging is pretty beat up. What else do I have in here? Uh, the very bottom of this. I do have a lip liner and this also from MAC. This is the Night Moth, Night Moth, Night Moth and Night Moth and the Ruby Woo. They go really well together. So I love this combo. And so, yeah, I'm trying to build up a respectable... <laughs> A respectable um, makeup pouch of things I actually use you know so that's what's going on here and try to get these items back in and I don't do a whole lot of makeup but I do some and I like it to be organized so I think this is doing much better than I've recently had it in my previous purses so there she goes Let's stick her there Mm. Trying to get this set up right. All right, I have this tiny little book here. Um, famous little red book. It's called It Works. Basically, it just really talks about the power of our thoughts and mind work you know what you think about you bring about i highly recommend this book to anyone who is in need of some kind of personal motivation just some basic reminders of how we can achieve what it is we want based off of our thoughts what well, what are we focused on so i like this and i actually have it in here because i plan on giving this to a loved one I have in here in the back a tiny little pouch. These little, um, they remind me of Carly shells. That's why I like them, that pattern. But in here I just have my, what is this? <laughs> Nail oil, cuticle oil. I have a nail file. Nail glue. And then we have a small container of Palmer's lotion, which is the cocoa butter formula. And I like Palmer's. I use a lot of Palmer's products. So this is perfect just to slip in the bag and have 
So we'll put her right there. And the bag is pretty empty, you all. I have a toy that my son asked me to hold for him <laughs> and forgot about. So we'll put him there. I'm trying not to, trying to move around carefully because, oh, here's my credit card that I thought I lost. So <laughs> a card that I thought I lost. I'll go ahead and stick that there. Happy to find that. Alrighty. And so that's everything in the bag. If I move too quickly, I will um, have it topple over because it's empty now. But in the back pocket of the purse, I have my, I've decided to just stick the women's products, you know, the girly stuff in the back of the purse so that um, I don't take up as much space. I'm trying to find ways and means to take up less space. So I've realized that if I have the whole girly bathroom pouch in there, I'm taking up a whole lot of space. So I just decided to use that back pocket in this purse for the, those things. And it worked out just fine. So there are some wipes there part of my girly supply collection and this little dinosaur I need to get back to his owner because hello what's he doing okay so I'm about sick of you okay <laughs> he will be going back to his owner very soon in the back pocket I have a lollipop I have another hand sanitizer. I have a orange lighter. I have a purple lighter. I like having lighters with me. I light candles all the time. So don't be surprised if you see a bunch of them. I have just as many lighters as I have lip glosses. And I light a lot of incense, a lot of candles. And then finally we have just some keys for the house. And that was in the back pocket. So that is everything you all that was in this lovely purse. It's falling apart. Um, here is the strap long long strap really loved that and i'm emptied out and ready to move into another bag this purse is a keeper i did want to tell you that as of yesterday i saw her on fossil.com she was for right around 60 bucks and yeah i'm encouraging you to go ahead and get her same exact um purse with this color blocking and so it's on sale right now, guys. So go on and do what you need to do if you do like this. What I would have liked about her um, that I didn't, that she didn't have, it would have been nice to have a key strap in there if they would have attached their charm because um, Fossil does have their key charm. So it would have been nice to have one of those on there um, and a dust bag. Those are some of the things that I would have liked to have with this bag. However, it was packaged well, um, beautiful leather, amazing stitching, just a great carry overall and quality. I love the quality of Fossil. So I'm definitely going to restuff her, put her away, and we'll be seeing her again over the course of this um, cold season. All right. Talk to y'all soon. Peace and love. Just be amazing.